and take a look at our shopping cart, or you can call the Brightside Bend phone team at 866-735-2470. For you guys out in the Bay Area, I'll be doing a talk in Santa Cruz on March the 7th at the Vintage Faith Church, and that's at 6.30 p.m. We're going to have a good time. We'll talk some skincare. We'll talk nutrition. We'll talk uh, the longevity products as well. We'll take your questions. Hopefully you can make it out to the Vintage Faith Church if you're in the Bay Area, and that's in Santa Cruz. That'll be March the 7th uh, week week from this Friday, oh my goodness, it's already coming into March, a week from this Friday at the Vintage Faith Church. Okay, got a couple lines open for you. Try to get on board early so we don't have to leave anybody on hold. Our number is 855-660-4261, 855-660-4261. If you are dealing with a connective tissue, muscle tissue breakdown, that's in the core of the body, you are in big trouble because 80 to 90% of your body is connective tissue and muscle tissue. There's nothing your doctor can do, nothing, 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 nothing a doctor can do to address connective tissue breakdown. Zip and you don't need a doctor, and you don't need Obamacare, and you don't need insurance. From a non-medical nutritional standpoint, the way you deal with these kinds of connective tissue problems, mixed connective tissue disease, autoimmune disease, whatever it is, you want to take a three-step approach. First of all, you want to correct malabsorption. You want to correct digestive issues. You guys, if you've been listening to this program, I hope you're not sick of hearing me say this. I know I say it every darn program we do. You've got to focus on this central part of the body, the digestive tract, that's basically the intestine, but also the stomach, the pancreas, the liver. All of these systems are critical, critical for absorption of nutrition and keeping the bad stuff out. Focus on the digestive system. That means eliminating problem foods, eliminating refined sugar, and especially eliminating anything that spikes insulin. That means fruit juice, and that means super sweet fruits, at least just eating small amounts of super sweet fruits. Certainly oats and grains and pasta and rice. you got to be really careful with those kinds of foods. For every, anybody has to be really careful, but especially if you're dealing with a digestive tract issue or if you're dealing with a connective tissue problem. Working with foods and digestion is not only the most important move you can make for dealing with connective tissue disease, not only the, the first thing you want to do, it's also super easy to do. It's super easy to control what you eat. It may not be simple, but it's super easy. It may not be, it may not be simple, but it's super easy. In other words, there's a lot of emotional baggage that's associated with foods. There's a lot of addictions that are associated with foods. But really, when you think about it from a logical standpoint, it's not that difficult to do, and especially if you're dealing with something like Marfan syndrome or, or prolapse, uh, prolapse parts of the body or any kind of connective tissue problem. Then you want to make sure you're using all your building nutrients, especially protein and especially the Mighty 90, that goes without saying, especially fats. There's a major relationship between fats and connective tissue. Connective tissue is very dense in fats. We said before that the connective tissue is an electrical system. It's like a process, uh, information processing system. It's a liquid crystal semi-conducting information processor. Basically, your connective tissue is like a computer chip, and it's powered and charged in large measure by essential fatty acids. That makes EFA super important for everybody. EFAs are important, but extra important if you're dealing with some kind of connective tissue health problem. Get, you, get yourself on the ultimate EFAs. Make sure you're using nine of them a day. If you have any kind of fat malabsorption problems, it's best to take your essential fatty acids with meals and with your enzymes. And then for all connective tissue uh, disorders, all connective tissue disease, including so-called genetic ones like Marfan syndrome, for all connective tissue diseases, you want to make sure you're doing weight-bearing exercises on a regular basis. You don't need P90X. You don't need to go crazy. You don't need an uh, hour workout or an hour and a half workout, you don't, unless you want one. But if you just want to build connective tissue, if you just don't want to fall apart, all you need is just five or ten minutes a day, three to five days a week. Get a couple of, you don't even need dumbbells. You know, you certainly don't need a gym membership and you don't even need weights or dumbbells. You can do it with, you can get a good weight, uh, weight bearing exercise with a couple of gallon jugs filled with water. You do a quick upper body, lower body workout with just two gallon jugs filled with water. If you want more weight, you can use a five gallon bucket, a couple of five gallon buckets, one for each arm. You do all kinds of exercises. If you want to use less weight, get some sweat socks, fill them up with rocks, or, or wrap them around a can of beans and make yourself a, a mini dumbbell. 
And by the way, not only is fat an important, not only is there an important relationship between fat and connective tissue health, good fat, essential fatty acids, but there's also a cholesterol relationship to, to uh, a connective tissue and muscle tissue health. Connective tissue or cholesterol is a major component of connective tissue. If you're building or if you're repairing, if you're weightlifting, if you're an athlete, if you're post-surgery, if you've had some kind of trauma, your body is going to be making more cholesterol. Cholesterol is a building substance. Cholesterol is the most important building substance in the body. If you take a statin drug, now you're going to be making less cholesterol and you're going to be slowing down building, you're going to be slowing down healing, and it's no accident that the side effects of statin drugs affect the nervous system as well as connective tissue and muscle tissue. These tissues are super dependent on cholesterol. Not that the rest of the body, not that the skin is also dependent on cholesterol and the epithelia the surface tissue, and that's also dependent on cholesterol. And, and stand drugs can mess up skin health, and they can mess up all the other, uh, health of all the other systems, but no system in the body is more dependent on cholesterol. That means no system in the body is going to be more sensitive to the effects of stand drugs than the muscle system and the connective tissue system. There's numerous cases of autoimmune diseases of connective tissue that are associated with statins. In fact, there's numerous cases of autoimmune diseases of connective tissue that are associated with all drugs, especially lupus, which is a, a classic autoimmune disease that's a result of, uh, of the prescription drug intake. Not, obviously, not always, it doesn't always occur, but it's one of the things that can happen from all prescription drugs, including statins. And then we come to our amino acid, our hardening amino acid, the one we started talking about a couple of weeks ago before we digressed into this discussion, connective tissue, and that is cysteine. Cysteine gives the body a certain hardness and a certain strength. It's the body's most important or one of the most important structural amino acids. Cysteine helps harden and strengthen collagen, which is kind of a biological rope. It's the most important protein in the body, and it gets its hard quality from cysteine. Collagen is basically a, a, tr a triple rope. It's this, if you look at a, a big, strong piece of rope, you'll notice that there's smaller pieces of rope that compose the big pieces of rope. In the same way that the twine is made up of smaller threads that wrap around each other that gives the twine a certain strength, in the same way as twine is made up of multiple fibers, collagen as well is made up of smaller fibers that are wrapped around each other. This, this quality gives co collagen a significant flexibility and a significant strength. But then there's a little piece of cysteine that's inserted between the collagen threads that basically acts like a little rivet that biologically bolts these collagen strands together. And that makes cysteine mega important for all hardening tissues in the body. That includes not just the collagen in your bones, but it also includes the hardness of your nails, the hardness of your hair, and also the hardness of the surface of the skin. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back with your phone calls at 855-660-4261 right after. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic Sulfur Crystals from SulfurDefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at SulfurDefense.com. That's SulfurDefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. I'm David Cordeni, President and CEO of Cigna. We're proud to support the March of Dimes by walking in the March for Babies. It feels great to know that the money we raise funds life-saving research and programs that improve the health of babies. With your help, we can make this year better than ever. Join Cigna and our coworkers across the country in March for Babies to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthier babies. Start your team today at MarchForBabies.org and March to Help Our Babies. Thank you. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. Well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter 
how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, reading from the journal Medicine and Science in Sports and Nutrition. Headline, Implications for Connective Tissue and Bone Alterations Resulting from Resistance Exercise Training. Available, this is a, reading a quote from the, uh, from the journal. The available data, quote, the available data suggests that one, physical activity increases connective tissue strength and mass. Two, activation of the anti-gravity muscles. Those are muscles that fight against gravity, things like your uh, back muscles and your jaw muscles. Activation of the anti-gravity muscles must be accomplished to adequately stimulate connective tissue. And three, the volume, intensity, and load-bearing nature, that is how much weight you're lifting or how much weight you're pushing or pulling, uh, load-bearing nature of the exercise training are important factors in causing connective tissue 
adaptations based on the above factors. A speculative model of training for increased maximum strength of connective tissue has been developed. And that's from October 1988, the journal Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise. The bottom line is, folks, lifting weights can help you build connective tissue. Doing any kind of weight-bearing exercise can build connective tissue. And as we said, you don't need a lot. To, you don't need a gym membership. You don't need to spend a lot of money. You don't need a lot of time uh, to, uh, to get into some connective tissue building exercises. All right, tomorrow we'll continue talking about cysteine and its importance to the health of the skin as well as the health of the hair. There's a really interesting skin uh, hair care product that you can get in your salon. A lot of women know about it for hair straightening that takes 